it came to my awareness as I was meditating upon the transcendent self a moment in time that I shared with my niece, Shyla. She was 12 at the time. We're talking about um, spiritual things. She is a, a fully equipped divine being here having a human experience, and sometimes she struggles with it because she's very perceptive. She's gifted. She's aware. And sometimes the human experience and the experience that she knows as her true self don't quite match up. And it was really interesting in our conversation, you know, because we're uh, Bex and I were talking to her at the time, and and uh, she we were referring to the higher self. She's like, "Yeah, I like to call it my true self, my true self." And that always stuck with me. And what's moving with me now is that the fire of love that we open to is the transformative piece. It transforms us. It helps us to know ourselves as that multidimensional being. Because we can sit here and we can talk about it. We can claim it. I can claim, hey, I'm a multidimensional being, and so are you. But if you haven't yet cracked open, if you haven't yet like allowed that power, that love, that light of God, the divine source, spirit, fully penetrate, it is just words. It's just words. It's knowledge. It's not knowing. And I feel really grateful to be with a group of angels that are in the know. And to know that as we continue on this path, because in my experience, it never really stops. There's not a destination point. It's a continued unfoldment. It's a continued awareness of like truly how vast and magical we are. The beauty of attunement points to this reality that love reveals the truth when we really open to it, when we allow it to flow to us, we allow it to flow through us, moment by moment and breath by breath, the true self emerges. It moves through the truth. Then there can be life.